Hello and welcome back to another video made by Allclear Technologies. In 2017, Apple removed the feature to install apps on an iPhone or iPad for your computer. So today we're going to be taking a look at how you can still do that using the Apple Configurator app. So let's get straight into it. To start off, you'll need to go to the App Store and go to search and type in Apple Config Rater and it'll come up, press enter, and it'll be the first option that comes up, Apple Config Rater 2. Now it'll say install here, but because I've already got the app, it just says open. So I'll just go open. And just accept. And it says welcome. Now, just before we get started, a word of warning, this requires an iPhone, iPad or iPod touch running iOS 7 or later. So in this case, it's gonna be this iPhone 4. All right, so we're gonna click get started. No, just wait for it to load. Okay, now we need to connect the device. So you'll need a cable for your device and then plug it into your computer. So I've got my 30 pin cable for the iPhone 4 and I'm just going to plug it in. There we go. And that now will show up on my Mac. Um, also be warned that this will only work on Mac OS. It won't work on Windows. So you'll need a Mac for this. All right, and then just double click and it shows you the information about your iPhone. Now you can also, other, other than apps, you can also put on profiles and consoles, but for today, we're just gonna use the app section. So we'll click on that, and we can see the installed apps on this iPhone. So what you're gonna to wanna to do to add an app is go to the top of the window and click the plus button, and go apps. Now you'll need to sign in for this to see your purchases. So I'll sign in now quickly. All right, so now that I'm signed in for my Apple ID, we can now access our purchased apps. So um, just be, also be warned that this will not allow an older version of the app. It'll automatically download the latest version. So if you need an older version of a certain app, you'll need to do it through the app store on that device. So uh, for this video, I'm going to do Monopoly because I know that that one works on the latest version for iOS 7. So just search, you can search for it in the top right hand corner, then just double click on it. And then it's going to start the download and installation process. So I'm just going to wait this phone up and we'll see it install. So that's about to finish downloading now. And now we can see the app has come up on the home screen. Now, as far as I know, that's not the Monopoly icon, but I'm pretty sure that shows because it doesn't know what the icon of the app is yet, because it will change when it finishes installing. Okay, so as you can see, that has just finished installing. So, and the app icon has changed. So we can open it as usual and even just unplug this from the computer and it will work perfectly fine. So yeah, um, that's how you install apps on your iPhone or iPad through your Mac computer. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I know a lot of people were annoyed when they removed it from iTunes, so hopefully this is a suitable workaround. So yeah, thanks for watching this video on All Clear Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video.